She fitted while she was hiking in Utah and a sitcom star helped her out. Minnie John was with her family climbing to the summit of the Arches National Park last week when she began to feel faint and lightheaded. She said she stopped to sit down and rest and told her husband and her son to continue without her. John ended up passing out and hit her face on a rock. She woke up to actress Julie Bowen, one of the stars of Modern Family, asking her questions. They didn't have to stop. They cleaned me up and they uh, gave me stuff to eat. And, I mean, she knew what she was doing. First thing I thought was uh, my mom must be hallucinating. <laughs> so I, like she she hit her face or maybe her head. I didn't know. But yeah, ma I thought she had a concussion. Bowen and her sister, who's a doctor, helped John contact her husband and son. They also gave her electrolytes and some food and treated her wounds. John says the actress was so nice that she even took a picture with her. Ah, we knew she was nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> One of London's most famous landmarks got stuck on Monday. The officials are blaming technical issues for the predicament. CNN's Jeannie Most reports on how social media users are bridging the gap with some jokes. When London's Tower Bridge got stuck in the opposition, vehicular traffic came to a halt. But social media traffic jumped. As posters made sarcastic suggestions, have they tried WD-40 and created Godzilla memes? I think I see the problem here, Tower Bridge. The much documented Tower Bridge lift occurs about 800 times a year. The buttons are pushed. Stand by bridge crew, about to stop road traffic. The joystick is pulled. On Monday, it was to let a wooden tall ship called the Tenacious Pass. But the bridge itself became tenacious when it was time to lower the roadway. The famous landmark had to endure puns. Tower Bridge just seemed a bit stuck up. And lots of commenters rewrote the lyrics to a ditty about another London bridge. London Bridge is falling down, falling down. Fall the lyrics were changed to Tower Bridge ain't fallen down. And Tower Bridge has broken down, as well as London Bridge is stuck upright, no one's moving. The landmark's movable roadways were portrayed as pinball flappers. The Tower Bridge lift has been memorialized in movies like Spice World. Hold on to your knickers, girl! <laughs> The bridge seems to bring out classic lines like John Wayne and Brannigan exclaiming, oh, nice. John Wayne made the leap, crashed into a dumpster. When something this famous gets stuck in the upright position, prepare for mockery. Genie Mouse, CNN. Oh, nice. New York. The best part is that we now know Jeannie Most can sing. Yeah, I didn't know that. We know now. <laughs> a lot of people with a lot of time on their hands, though. So. Hey, in just a few hours, SA Live is headed back to the classroom for their back to school special in prime time. It's from 7 to 8 tonight, right here on KSAT 12. And to get us ready for it, Mike and Fiona have a best of back to school show for us. Hey, guys. If you could believe it is already time for SA Live's primetime school special. It is at seven o'clock tonight, of course, in primetime, and we are going to be live from the Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children. Can't wait to show you all the back to school tips, tech, fashion, you name it, and we have it tonight. Yes, and for now, we've rounded out some of the best back to school tips for summer, including the tech you need to make your school year a success. No more just box of crayons anymore <laughs> and a number two pencil. Hey, things that you can make yourself for the school year with help from the rustic brush. And this is really gonna help you, especially getting ready every day. And an after school art program in New Braunfels that will have you creating colorful masterpieces and for any age. Bryce Wild, doctor, and the guy always has some fantastic tips and he shares some natural foods that are really gonna boost your energy without making you crash. That can be the big problem sometimes. And a kid's spa on the Northwest side where you can get a little pampering in before the school year. Oh, your little mini mini me will look so cute. Extreme cuteness alert with that. These little girls in this are just adorable. That and a whole lot more is coming up on SA Live. So stick around.
everyone. This is your Daily Tech and Business Briefing from Cheddar News. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren will propose a minimum tax on the profits of America's richest corporations. The so-called Real Corporate Profits Tax was a key plank in her presidential campaign that alongside a wealth tax for the wealthiest Americans. Now, the measure would require corporations to pay a 7% tax on earnings reported to investors above $100 million. Meanwhile, Apple defending its new system that scans the iCloud for illegal child abuse material. The tech giant says they'll reject any demands from the government to use the technology for surveillance. Now, Apple says its system's more private than what other companies have used to eliminate illegal child abuse images on their servers. This comes amid widespread backlash from privacy advocates. And AMC reported their earnings yesterday. The company reported a loss of 71 cents per share, but that's actually better than the expected 91 cents loss. The revenue also coming in higher than expected at $444 million. The movie chain also making strides when it comes to cryptocurrencies. They say they'll accept Bitcoin as a payment by the end of this year. And that's Cheddar News, business and tech update. I'm Baker Machado, coming to you from Cheddar Studios in Lower Manhattan. And that is our show for now. A lot of folks looking forward to the primetime special with SA Live back to school, but for now it's an encore presentation and it starts right now. Go, go, back to school gadgets. We're rounding up cool tech for the new school year. Hey, real energy comes from healthy foods, how you and your kids can get energized with natural options. And an after-school program that will have you creating masterpieces. It's all today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon and happy Tuesday. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage, and I can't believe it, but it is once again time for our summer special, back to school special, I should say the end of summer <laughs> special, which is in prime time. And we are going to be out there at the Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children. We have got all sorts of things to tell you about affordable outfits, meals made easy, the tech you need, even a chance to win back to school party with games to you. That is all going to be on SA Live's primetime special tonight at 7 o'clock right here on KSAT 12, so do not miss it. And right now, we're getting into back-to-school tech a little early with some pointers from the pros. Check it out. Well, the right tech gear can make the upcoming school year even easier, whether it's for elementary school kids or all the way up to college. And here to show us some of those cool gadgets here at Best Buy is sales supervisor Matt Perez. Hey there. Okay, so let's start with something for the littles, the elementary school kids. Definitely. Uh, right now we have the HP Chromebook, right? It's a 14 inch display. Uh, you get 13 hours of battery life with it, which is amazing to think about. Um, and it'll already have the Google Classroom built in. And then you have docs on there, numbers, all that's going to be included in there. It is a two-in-one, too, so it does turn into a tablet for them when they're needing it in classrooms. Solid, solid computer for starting out, definitely. Sure. All right, now we're going to kick it up a notch for those high school and college kids, right? Definitely, definitely. Right now we start talking about a lot of multitasking. They're going to start looking at one thing and start moving up to something that may be a little bit more drastic. i7 processor inside of it, so it's going to be very powerful with them changing as they're going through high school or even in college. Um, that eight gigabytes of RAM in there is going to allow them to multitask a lot of things at one time. Whether it's running Word in the background, running you know Internet Explorer, Chrome, whatever it may be in the background, they're going to be able to run it without seeing any lag inside of it. And then 512 gigabytes worth of data inside of there. Um, so you have a lot of room to be able to store in the things that you're going to need. And bang and olds and speakers on both, right? On both of them. So when we do need that downtime and we want to watch the Netflix, the Hulu, we'll be able to do that with great sound quality inside of it for sure. Speaking of sound quality, headphones. I mean, how cool have they gotten these days for the kids? Definitely, and you're going to need them, right? You're <laughs> going to need them. The biggest thing about the Sony ones that we have on display, um, they're going to be noise cancellation. So when you're in that library and everybody else is being loud around you, and you kind of want to zone that out. 
and really focus on what you're studying, you'll be able to have 13 and a half hours to do that with these guys here. And then if they are running low, right, somehow you blow through those 13 and a half hours, you'll be able to charge them for 10 minutes and it'll give you an extra hour. That's awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> That's awesome, <laughs> That's amazing. especially for, you know, high school and college kids running around. I definitely. mean, you don't have a lot of time and you no. might forget. This you is know? true. You definitely will. <laughs> okay. For those college kids, we've got a couple of items. We've got some really fun stuff, mm -hmm. actually, um, especially with the Philips Hue lights. Philips Hue lights um, will allow you to customize the lights in every sort of way um, possible, right? So if you want to have that color in the background, you can have it. If you want a mellow blue to calm down after your stressful day, you'll be able to do that. My favorite feature of them is that they actually have an alarm on them. So when you want to wake up and you want a light, gradual wake up, they'll actually start to get brighter and brighter and brighter um, until you decide to turn them off and they wake you up. I say, I remember college, I slept pretty hard, you know, <laughs> so that gradual wake up, it's got to it's have that big boost at the definitely, end. Definitely, <laughs> definitely, right? You might have to set the alarm for afterwards when you don't wake up for it. Exactly. <laughs> All right, and of course, college kids, they got to eat. Right, you got to eat, and you want to bring home um, a little bit of what you used to have at home, right? And you'll be able to do it now with 75% less fat inside of there. The air fryer is going to be fantastic. Gets up to 400 degrees inside of there, so you can definitely cook just about anything in there that you want to fry without having all that greasy oil inside of there for sure. For more information on all these products from Best Buy, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. We'll look for even more tech tips for heading back to the classroom tonight from 7 to 8 on the SA Live Back to School special in prime time. Of course, when you are headed back to class, you need a lot of energy. And, you know, today we're getting help from health expert Bryce Wild. Now, he's the author of two books, and he practices functional medicine, finding, you know, natural ways to stay healthy. Our Jen Tobias Strusky caught up with him for a few health tips for the end of summer and beginning of the school year. Check it out. Well, it's no surprise the Texas heat can be very draining. And if you feel like you're lacking energy, we have some help today from health expert Bryce Wild. Hello. Good to see you again. Hey, Jen. Nice to see you. It's excellent to see you. I know it's so hot, muggy, and humid these days, and that can really zap your energy. Normally, I'd start off with, you know, my supplement tips, nutrition, maybe some lifestyle. But I'm going to go right into it here with exercise, Jen. We can't make energy without expending it. That may sound counterintuitive, but you gotta spend a little. Find a really nice, cool place indoors, well hydrated, and do some HIIT work, high intensity interval training. That's you against gravity. We're meant to push, pull, jump, squat, and lift. And yes, of course, sweat a little bit and then rehydrate. But that'll set you up for the rest of the day with a real good sense of energy and, and, and mental clarity. So working out in the morning is probably a better idea than saving it for the afternoon just to kind of get your energy going. Bingo. In fact, actually, a lot of science shows now that doing it too late in the day can not only heat you up and then not establish a good deep sleep for night, it interrupts your circadian rhythm. So absolutely get that intensity exercise cardio done. Now, we're not fueling our body the right way. I'm going to introduce you to two types of cells here. This is a nerve cell. And this nerve cell here is uh, ultimately what responds to things like caffeine, um, you know, these sort of fake energies. And we get stimulated, and that's not really energy. What we have to learn about are all the rest of the cells, the energy producing cells in the body that you see here. And in particular, one, I don't want to bring you back into biology grade 11, uh, 11th grader, but these are mitochondria. They make the real currency of energy. It's called ATP. And ATP ultimately is what we need to make more of to feel energy all day long. Now, macronutrients, these are the healthy macronutrients, eggs, you know, fish, uh, fatty fish in particular, avocado, good fats, walnuts, but ginger, learn more about ginger. It's anti-inflammatory energy providing benefits, wonderful, and beets. Beets provide nitric oxide that really fuels circulation, microcirculation, that's more blood flow. So that's macronutrients, get more of that into your diet, Jen. But at the end of the day, I wanna teach folks also about a micronutrient. Probably haven't heard of this one. You know, we've heard of B12, we've heard of folic acid. These help make energy for us as well, the B complex. So that's a great supplement to you know put into your diet as on top of your diet. But I'm gonna introduce you to a new one here. It's called N. MN. And this is a little powder. That's one gram you take a day. A lot of studies behind this. Pro Health Longevity. That's a science backed healthy aging supplement for those with an active lifestyle that want more of this energy. 
ProHealthLongevity.com is an amazing place to go to that where you can research about these products, in particular NMN, which is fueling the ATP, giving you real energy before you buy. And is there anything else you can add for us here in Texas when we're maybe stuck outside all day? Do you have any tips of what we can do to to keep our energy levels up? It's it's getting really hot even right now. <laughs> Electrolytes, hydrate yourself in a liter of water and carry that around with you. Half a lemon, a pinch of table salt, that's for the sodium chloride. Uh, your body needs some salt, especially when you're sweating a lot. And about a tablespoon of blackstrap molasses. You mix that up, you know, it's a wonderful at-home natural Gatorade to keep you well hydrated. My number one most important thing in the heat. Where can people go for more information and more tips from you? Uh, for me, there's over half a million pages of free information at wildabouthealth.com. Diets, recipes, tons of recipes on there. So enjoy. on the show an after school art program in new Braunfels that will have you creating colorful masterpieces and for any age back to SA Live. Well, as we get closer back to school, we also, you know, start looking for some of those after-school programs for kids. Yes, and Brooke Treadwell, owner of Ala Prima Art Studio, is here to tell us how you can inspire your young artists and show us how they get those creative juices flowing. Hello, hello. Hi. Good to see you. Thank okay. you for having me. So nothing inspires Mike, of course, um, more than working with me. <laughs> so you brought a project. That like I said, I found my new screensaver right here. <laughs> Yes, indeed. But this is part of a package that you can get at home, right? Yes, so this comes with our Rainbow Portrait Art Kit. It's Not actually my face, though. Yeah. <laughs> no, so you send us a photo, and we do a custom hand-drawn portrait, and then the art kit comes with all of the supplies and the instructions that you need to create your own rainbow portrait. Okay, and it's it's a very interesting way of doing it. It's watercolors, but if you're not, you know, the artist, this is not going to, it's... So this lesson teaches how to uh, contour a face using warm and cool colors. Okay. And it's done with what's called a wet on wet style, so it's meant to be very loose. And be so careful. We're not worried about <laughs> staying in the line so much. We're just kind of letting the water color do its own thing. So first of all, I'm just putting plain water on here. Mm -hmm. on and we're going to do the highlights of the face with the warm tones. And I like to start with yellow just because it's the lightest okay, color. Okay, so I just do a little just bit of this. A little bit of yellow. And I put it in here and it's going to spread on its mm -hmm. own. Do I need Lovely. to like brush it in a little bit like that? I, I would or? add maybe a little bit of water and just okay. kind of let the colors blend. So they just kind of bleed a little bit onto the page. Okay. And so what you would do, you would add all of your highlights and I like mm -hmm. to think of it as like maybe contouring a face with makeup. Um, so I don't, know, I don't know if you're used to wearing makeup, maybe because you're on TV, but <laughs> 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 but it's basically like highlighting with makeup. So, okay. and then, uh, so what we'll do is we'll allow this to dry and, and then, then we'll move on to the second stage. So I've got this one kind of half done for you. And this has all the highlights on and it. And now, so we now have you'll add the shadows. And so the contrast between the two tones is going to create the illusion that there's dimension in the face. So the same thing, I wet the spots that I want to put on the shadows here and mm -hmm. under the chin. You're doing great. And then a little bit of this blue. I would take blue, okay. some, one of the cool tones. So any of these cool tones right here. And just kind of like that? Yeah, I think it looks just like. There you go. Okay. Yes. Well, right. I well, I'll finish one this one up. You. Okay. Now I'm going to do another kind of yes. cool little project so over here. This is another really fun one that we do at the studio. It's really fun and expensive and it's got easy cleanup, which I absolutely love. Um, so this is what we call a yarn painting. And you're basically just going to take yarn and you're going to glue it to your paper. So for this, you just need a inexpensive frame. I got this one at the dollar store. Mm -hmm. um, some glue, some scissors, and some type of pointed tool. Uh, you can use a toothpick, a pencil, or a weaving needle. Like this? Um, mm -hmm. And you're just gonna lay your glue. Okay. And put the yarn down. 
Is it stuck? Uh, it might close, be. Close it and open it back up. Okay. While she's doing that, how, what types of different mediums do you use? For okay, kids? so we have about 12 different mediums. Last time I counted. So we draw. We use oil pastels, chalk pastels. We paint with watercolor, acrylic, gouache. Uh, we have a pottery wheel and a ceramic kiln, so we get to do ceramics, which is really fun to teach the kids about the ceramic process and how to transform a lump of clay into a beautiful piece of art or a functional piece of pottery that they can take home and they get so excited when they find out they can eat cereal out of the bowls <laughs> that they throw on the wheel. It's adorable. And, and two different things. That way they're not getting uh, tired of one particular art form exactly. and they, using, they, they find what they like. Using so many different mediums keeps them engaged because you don't want an after school program to feel like more school. So it keeps them engaged and it helps them find things that they could be passionate about or really good at. What ages? So it's uh, the program is ages kindergarten through 12, and then we also teach an adult program um, that starts in September. Oh, yeah. so, so if you've just got an extra hour a week or something, you can try it out? So yes, yeah, so that's actually a 15 uh, week program, but it's broken into three sections. So we have drawing, painting, and ceramics. And so you can take the whole program as sort of a comprehensive educational experience, or you can just take the individual mediums as an individual five week class. So because, you know, adults are really busy and it's hard to commit to a full 15 weeks sometimes. Right. We've all got projects and kids and jobs and things, so okay. that's why we do it that way. So in this, whoops, I, the, it's running a little bit, but this is what it's going to look like. And you would fill in the hair and everything else. And very neat. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's Tell great. us where you're located. Uh, so we are in New Braunfels, Texas. And if you want to find any information, alapremaartstudio.com. We've got all of the program information, registration, program schedules, and art the kits art available. Kits. All right. And for all that information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Next on the show, we share some DIY workshop projects perfect for back to school month next week. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, back to school is either coming up for you or may already be back in school. And we have some woodworking and DIY workshop projects from the Rustic Brush. And it's going to make the school year that much better for the little ones. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. And helping us personalize our projects is Christine Munoz, owner of the Rustic Brush here in San Antonio. Yeah, thank you. Hi. This is something okay. really neat. So, yes. Mm -hmm. So what are we making? And so this is actually a multi-purpose door hanger. So the fun part is that you can use this guy um, for the first day of school. You can use it year after year after year because it's a chalkboard. Mm -hmm. um, so we can write here, you know, their first, their what their name is and the grade they're going in. So if you have multiple kids, we can always use it over and over, erase the name. Um, and then also, I was showing you earlier, we can even use that backside as kind of like a chore list. You know, we can put to dos because it's a chalkboard. So you can use it for multiple things. So if you're done with that first day of school, you can use this as a okay. reminder for the kids. And then kids also like to have their name on their door or something exactly. like that. So that could be the front side. And yeah. if you need something special for right. the, the to-do list or for even the little ones, it's like, remember, you know, brush your teeth and pack your lunch. Exactly. Or, yeah. Don't forget to take the dog out. Don't forget to let <laughs> the dog out. So the, the nice thing about this is, and it is uh, for kids because you put these stencils on these boards, right? Right. So we'll help the kids. They'll paint on that chalkboard paint on the back. Then when we put the stencils on, we print them large enough so that way when the kids are painting, it doesn't matter if they go over the edges uh, okay. because that stencil will stop it from bleeding. Uh, and we help them every step of the way. And this is something your kids can come in and make themselves while you're making a stove top tray or a, a round tray or some kind of decor for your home. And so, this is nice because for once, for once for the kids, so you don't have to color inside the lines. Exactly. Right. Yep. You know? <laughs> that's right. In fact, one of our techniques is called ombre and that's when you slowly go from one color to the next. So when they actually cross, it creates a really cool effect. So oh. they can't mess up. <laughs> and do you have any other back to school projects over there at the studio? Yes, we have lots of projects for the um, kids, you know, for the going into their sport. So if we have volleyball projects, baseball, um, football, we have a couple of cute door hangers. So if you have a football household, you can put the door hanger with the team colors and your son's um, name and their number. Um, it's something that the whole family can come in and make together. And you can have even like a little uh, maybe girls night out or, or it's family night because it's BYO everything. Yes, exactly. Food, drink, all kinds of stuff. We can host uh, birthday parties. We can host a back to school event if the teacher 
teachers want to come in, make, um, we have pencil door hangers that they could put onto their, their classroom door, you know, with their name, so everybody knows that that's their, that's their classroom. Um, yes, definitely, and bring in food and drinks, so it's, it's a fun time. We're going to get tangled up here. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. It's like, I'll let you finish, I'll let you finish that. So, of course, any age, right? Exactly, mm -hmm. yep, mm-hmm, yep, and if you're, if you bring in your youngers, we'll help them, or you can help them. Um, I think my daughter, my daughter's, we've been doing it since she's been four, and she loves it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so. okay. Um, and reservations, mm -hmm. about 24 hours At least 24 hours in, hours in advance, because we print everything individual. Okay. So everybody can make something different. And customize things, too? Yes, yes, we do, yep. Mm -hmm. If you customize, we ask it for at least 24 hours in advance. We'll work with you, send you the design, get your approval before we print it out. So when I want to print out, Fiona is wonderful. Uh, you can do that. You can do that. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> but you can reserve the whole space that yes. you want? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. We don't charge anything additional to create a private event. We just request that you have at least 10 people in your event on weekends and then weeknights it's less. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, yes, Christine Munoz. Yes, of course. Owner of the Rustic Brush here in San Antonio. Thank you so much. For more information, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. We're here at Spoil Me Kids on Hebner Road, and joining me right now is Jenna Frisall, okay, the owner, and this is just a great place to have glamorous spa parties for kids, right? Yes, the girls love coming here. We get to show them that it is great to be spoiled. They can be just like mom. We give them robes, a pink lemonade, kids champagne <laughs> in their wine glasses. They get a snack. Whatever they want, cucumbers on the eyes. It's I mean, just we're talking like a spa experience. I mean, we've got mani pedis, right? Yes, mani pedis, facial and makeup. They put the cucumbers after their mud mask. They can dress up. I mean, you've got you've got princess dresses. Princess dresses, yes, from Anna and Elsa to Jasmine, Moana. If you're older, we have tutu, so we can do the TikToks. <laughs> Whatever you want, we cater directly to you. So you've been here how long? Going on four years now. Okay. And it's it's really popular. Yes. I mean, who wouldn't want to come here? It's like the best place in San Antonio for little girls to just have a great spa experience. Now, tell me what parents who take their kids here for the first time say afterwards. Parents just love it. They love that they can take them somewhere, that it's just about them, mm -hmm. that they can, you know, do the things that they see mom doing, getting their nails painted. Everything is, you know, just for their size, their age. So glitter, galore, uh, pink, purple, you know, everything that the kids love and they just love it because it's all about them. Now, I, there is a fashion show too, right? I mean, yes, who doesn't want to show, strut their stuff on the runway? We have a runway that the girls can dress up, they can put on crowns, necklaces, all the props you could think of we offer and they can show us, you know, what they're working with. And shine like a diamond, yeah, right? Yeah, shine like a star <laughs> that they are. So if someone wants to take Take their kid. Can they just come by themselves? Um, they can either do individual appointments, uh, they can set up for play dates, we offer private parties, um, either or, but yes. Because you have a party room, right? We do have a party room. You can bring in outside food and drink. Um, our parties, you get the whole venue um, for the entire time that you have it reserved. Um, you can have, you know, the moms hang out. They love it just as much. You can bring a mimosa bar, <laughs> cheese and crackers, whatever for the mommies. And then, you know, the kids can have pizza and cake after. All right. So tell folks how to find you if they want to book an appointment. So Instagram, Facebook, you can find us on Spoil Me Kids Spa or you can go to spoilmekidsspa.com. All right, well, for more information on Spoil Me Kids Spa, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. That's some good pink lemonade. Isn't it? Yes. <laughs> A rotisserie chicken is a lifesaver when it comes to dinner during this busy back to school season. And today I'm gonna to show you how to take this rotisserie chicken and turn it into two meals, an oven chicken taco bake, as well as Tuscan pasta with chicken and spinach. We are now going to pull the chicken off of the bone, getting that good mix of white meat and dark meat for the meals that we're going to cook. 
I love these chicken tacos in the oven because nothing's gonna fall out of your taco. Let me show you how that works. Okay, so I just have a mix of shredded cheeses here and we're gonna put a little bit into the base of each of these taco shells that are nested together in a baking dish. And then we will mix together the chicken and salsa in a bowl. So because we're making two recipes with this chicken, I'm gonna take about half of this shredded chicken run my forks through it just real quickly again, and then mix in some salsa, probably about a half a cup. You don't want it to be too runny. And the rest of this chicken you can just put in your fridge so you have it for tomorrow night when it's time for your pasta night. Let's load this salsa and chicken into each taco shell, and then we'll add more cheese on top. I also love that you get two meals from one rotisserie chicken. It's just a fantastic and affordable option for dinner. All right, the oven's preheated to 350 and it's ready for these tacos. So let me add more cheese and then we'll put these into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes, just long enough to melt the cheese since the meat is already cooked. The oven chicken tacos are ready for their toppings and the dinner table. I'm just gonna add a little shredded lettuce and some pico de gallo and I imagine my boys will be running downstairs for dinner shortly. Remember that chicken that you have in the refrigerator where you can pull it out because we're gonna make Tuscan chicken and pasta. Okay, we're going to make a very simple sauce with diced tomatoes and seasonings. We're gonna also stir in frozen spinach and incorporate that so it kind of melts into the tomato sauce. And after all of that's together, then we will add in some half and half, heavy cream or whole milk, and some grated Parmesan cheese. Last, before we add the pasta in, we need to stir in that rotisserie chicken. So mix that right into the sauce and break up any larger pieces so that they're easier to eat later. Finally, we'll add a little bit of basil and garlic powder. And about five minutes after putting all this sauce together here, we're gonna mix in the pasta and this is ready for dinner. I love that I'm getting two meals for my four boys with one rotisserie chicken. This is cost cooking. Cook once, serve twice at its best. All right. Hi, I'm Kara Mead with Kara Mead Organizing. And today I'm really excited to be able to share with you some great organizing tips and strategies and systems that you can implement in your home, whether it's for remote learning or just home workstations. So let's go ahead and get started about transforming a workspace. This space I've got here is really for like third grade and up for a student, a child. Now remember, we've transformed an existing space into your home to something usable and workable for your child. So really as the child gets older, it's good to have a little bit of a desktop surface that they can use with their everyday supplies put away somewhere in an organized fashion so they know where it is, it has a home and they can find it, yet they've got their workspace on top. So today I wanted to share a little bit about an open top file box, so simple, cute hanging file folders. You know, having a visually aesthetic, pleasing and cute space makes it cozy and comfy for your student. Of course, having a to-do list is really important too. So we want to make sure that every student feels ready in the morning and they kind of know the tasks at hand. So a to-do list is great. Having a mouse pad is nice and easy for them. And of course, keeping their laptop or whatever their electronic device is charged is really important. And of course, having their workbooks and their school books handy with some bookends keeps it nice and easy for them to find what they need. So if we keep it playful and fun and pretty, We've got this here for a younger student, perhaps ages five to eight. So there aren't really as much in the drawer because they like to see their things. So an open letter tray is super handy for just keeping their paper corralled inside and keep it there accessible. Very simple office supplies and a simple to-do list. Maybe even a sibling or a parent might have to help them write out what their to-dos are for the day. Here's a really cute notepad for every day of the week. 
They can keep track of their assignments and keeping their writing utensils handy in this cute little fun rubber container. And of course, it's really important to have a good accessible charging station to keep their devices charged as well. So for the younger students, something a little more fun, cozy, comfy, and things out and a little more visible, and the older student keeping things put away. But here's something really great as well I wanna share. We've got a very simple system for keepsakes. So from pre-K three to senior year, each school year has a hanging file folder in it where you store keepsakes for each child in your home. So each child would have their own plastic bin from pre-K three to 12th grade where you store report cards, essays, cute book reports they've done, things that they or you may wanna look back on as they age. And then the other super easy component to the two process of keeping keepsakes is just an art box. A very simple box you can pick up at a craft store and this is to store things like large art, finger painting, and such. So hopefully today you got some great tips on getting ready for the school year and keeping keepsakes. Next on the show, give your kids something healthy to snack on while they're starting the new school year. Expert Jade Rashawn joins us once again out of the car and into the studio because back to school is just around the yeah. corner, believe it or not. <laughs> and oh. home from school, kids mm -hmm. can be, I'm hungry, I need a snack, I'm hungry, yes. I need a snack. And There's so much more high maintenance. And they are, <laughs> but you know what? There is so much out there that makes mealtime and lunchtime very simple and fun. So I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I found that I know the kids like. Okay. Mm -hmm. They don't compromise on taste. They're low in sugar, and so let's start. We've already had some fun on our road trip with the poppy drinks. You guys love those. I can those. vouch for those. That was really, so good. really good. And those little snacks, too. Yes. yes. Okay. And then I'm really big on eco-friendly stuff that is reusable, right? So I love these reusable Ziploc bags. Really, any grocery store, Target, or you know your local grocery store will have these. They're great because you store your dry foods, your fruits, anything. They're, a lot of them are microwave safe, and the kids can bring them back home. So you don't have to worry about too much like litter with all the plastic and stuff. Another great thing that I like to set up with lunch is our stations, because I like the kids to help me. So I want to teach them how to kind of become independent little lunch makers too. So you just kind of put the snacks already in your Ziploc bags and let them pick some of the stuff that they want to. As long as you give them options that are healthy, right. some sweet and some healthy options, that kind of allows them some independence. And plus mm -hmm. when they're kind of helping to prepare to lay it out, they're, they're more invested. inclined They are more it. inclined yes. to eat it, exactly. Mm -hmm. And they feel like they had a part in all of this. And I love the ones that are already pre-packaged. You've got your fruit snacks here. You know, kids are big fans of cheese. So we've got these cool little like cheese pop curd things. These individual things are so great because you can just throw them in their lunch boxes. And then also um, when you move down, if you want to make sandwiches, you can do of course like your ham and cheese or PB and J. Mm -hmm. I like the pre-made ones, but if you make them on your own, a really big hack is to make enough for the entire week, put them in the freezer, and then oh. all you gotta do is pull them out of the freezer. So that that can just go in the freezer in, a, in yep. one of those ziplocs. You can put them in the freezer for the week, and then they'll thaw out in time for lunch for the kids. Okay. And then let's say if you want to get creative, you guys can get some cookie cutters and create fun little shapes and make these little PB and J pops for them. Oh I my love those. gosh, I yes. love that using the pretzel stick. Yes. Oh. Good idea. Okay, so what are taste. what are some of the top things kids should be eating? I think kids should be making sure, or we sh as caregivers and parents should be ensuring that they get some protein in their body mm -hmm. for some energy. They get a little bit of carbs. And it's okay okay to give them something sweet, but let them explore alternative sweet options uh, outside of like your candy, your cookies, and your Oreos, like these low sugar gummies. There's also these freeze pop um, or freeze dried fruits. These are mangoes. These taste so good. They taste like candy. Let's give it to our road trip toddler, Mike, over here to try for everybody. Go ahead. <laughs> there you go. They're so good. Don't act like you don't like them either, Mike, because they're really good, Fiona. Too. Will that keep them quiet? <laughs> okay, they are. Oh, See? wow. It's got just enough of a tang to it. Yeah. Yeah. So you just get them, to and, expose them to other options of sweetness, and that's kind of my big thing. And also remember that they don't have to have a lot of meal time. Let them know, let them tell you when they're ready to be finished eating, and then they'll let you know when they're hungry too. Going or, back to some of the uh, mm -hmm. reusable things, yes. these little muffin 
Oh, I love those because they also, you can put those in the bento box, lunch boxes. Mm -hmm. They're silicone cupcake holders, but I like to use those to go ahead and put my little pretzels in these. Oh, okay. You can put but, anything in them, honestly. But you can actually bake cupcakes in those. You can bake mm -hmm. cupcakes in those as well. And also, I know I don't have it on here, but I think it's really sweet for the packed lunches if we write little letters to them or even do riddles or jokes with the kids because they really love stuff like that. So this is a great way to kind of kick off the school year, make it a little bit more exciting and creative and fun. And packaging is everything, too. I mean, how can a kid say no to these bright colored? Right. I mean, snacks. look at that. <laughs> and again, it's if so they're not, looking. it doesn't matter how healthy it is. If they don't like it, they're not going to eat it. But those, like I said, right. those are really tasty. Exactly. And the, yeah, and the freeze dried. Like that, healthy that can taste too. good. It doesn't have to be bad. And that's what right. the kids kind of fear. So we want to break that fear from them and also make it fun, too. You know? and, and again, all of the mm -hmm. silicone stuff you can get at the grocery store? Yes, or? you can get them at your local grocery store. You can get them at Target is the place to be for eco-friendly stuff. I mean, if you guys go down their reusable section, mm -hmm. you don't even have to use any of the plastic stuff anymore. And this is just, this comes in handy on the road trips, yeah, for does. school and after school think activities. think how many like, Ziploc bags you go through. So if exactly. someone needs a nanny after school, you can provide them with one, right? Yes. Yeah, so what we specialize in are long-term placements, and then we advise them on how to independently navigate their search on finding part-time and backup care, because you know we're going to need it during the school year, too. So everyone can contact me via noother.nanny.net. Okay. She's got wonderful mm -hmm. ideas. I love y'all. Yeah. Thank you. I'm so oh. glad y'all like them. For more information <laughs> on Jada Rashawn and No Other Nanny, all you have to do is head to essaylive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link. Tonight from 7 to 8 p.m. on KSAT 12, the SA Live Back to School Special in Prime Time. Hey, we are hitting the books and getting you ready for the school with fashion must-haves, tech for students, meal prep ideas, and a whole lot more. Don't miss the SA Live Back to School Special in Prime Time, sponsored by Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. Well, thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget, it is one of those special days. Tune in tonight from 7 to 8 p.m. during the SA Live Back to School special in prime time. We get to stay up late tonight. Yes, fun, games, back to school, tech, fashion, must have, meal prep ideas, and more. Remember, it all starts at 7 p.m. right here on KSAT 12, sponsored by Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to pull out the letter jackets and have a great time there. We'll see you there. village to make this show happen every day. It's like a warm fuzzy. Ooh. Oh, how yes. was it? I know what you've been waiting for. Come with me and I'll take you on board. That was a feat. Two G's, two oh. G's. I even spelled it out for you in here. Oh. <laughs> the word cheese, somebody left milk in a bat one time, lift the lid and went, cheese. Uh, sorry about that. Yes, ooey gooey goodness. Taste right, test right, time. Judge. Bada bing, bada boom. I can't find my keys. I can't find my keys. I ain't saying 